Okay, this video will show you how to get started using the MakerCase website. So if you just Google MakerCase, uh, the first one that pops up should be the one you want. And you'll go ahead and select Basic Box. Typically, we're working in uh, inches for our units. And then you can play around with your, your, your width, height, and depth here, and it'll actually update live this little picture. Okay, so if your mouse is over here and you zoom, you can zoom in and out. If your mouse is over here, you can scroll. Uh, so for the width, let's just watch it change here. Let's do something like uh, 10 inches wide. We'll do uh, 5 inches in height and 2 inches in depth. Just something random here. And you can see there's our box. Uh, if you wanted it to be... Different than that, you could adjust these or maybe switch these. Like if you make this two and this five, same size box, just kind of laying on its side now. Okay, so design that for whatever project your specifications require. Uh, typically, I use inside dimensions. That's how much space is inside the box. If you do outside dimensions, then you've got to figure out, you know, that's just a measurement from here, from the outside edges, as opposed to the inside edges. Uh, if you're designing this to go to the laser, typically we're using one-fourth of an inch material, so make sure that is reflected in the thickness. Uh, as far as open or closed box, typically we have closed boxes, but just to show you, it's just are you going to print five pieces or six pieces, right? Do you want an open or closed box? Um, keep in mind, a closed box, you could still remove the top. Like you just don't glue the top. You could still access the inside. Uh, but sometimes there is an there is a instance where you would want an open one, but I would say most times we're making six sided closed boxes. When it comes to the joints here, you could choose flat finger or T slot. I'm going to recommend finger joint. Those are pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and and very strong. They make it very easy to glue together. If you just do flat here, it's hard for this box to 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 glue together and stay you know nice and square so finger joints are best and then uh, my preference here is to have um, larger fewer fingers if that makes sense so rather than smaller many fingers right you can see the result there uh, I typically it, it you're, it'll cut a lot faster actually and it's typically a little bit stronger too with larger fingers and fewer of them. Okay, once you get that far, you're pretty much done. You're going to click download box plans. And here you, you don't want these labels to show up when you go to, to cut them. That'll kind of jam up the laser a little bit. So if you just disable those, now the laser just has to worry about cutting. Doesn't have to worry about those words. And then that's it. You'll just download your DXF. And now that downloaded file can be uploaded to Onshape, and I'll show that in the second help video here in just a minute, uh, what what that looks like. So you wanna, don't stop here, right? You wanna take this DXF into Onshape now, and that'll allow you to add some additional features to your box.